Hey there, my name is Danny Ruiz. We are at the Palm Springs project today. What a beautiful day we have. What we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be talking about how to get your exterior hardscape landscaping in line to where you get the most resale value for it. So what we're going to be doing on this side is we're going to be doing a fire pit. On this side we're going to be doing a barbecue area. And on, the, on these future videos we're going to show exactly how we do it, what we do. It's going to be fun. Let's go check it out. Let's go inside. So let's get started. You can see how we have this frame. What I want to do is kind of just share with you my insights as to how I got to this point. So if we're looking at this overall area, we have from wall to wall, we have a certain width. And the first thing I like to do is see what my measurement is from, from wall to wall. So once you know what your measurement is from wall to wall, then you can then you can determine what the center of your fire pit area is going to be. So that's one thing you want to determine. Now it doesn't always have to be in the center, but more than likely you'd like to get things symmetrical. All right, so we got our side to side location pretty much in line. Now we're going to determine from front to back. So on this area, I wanted to have it more towards the front because as we come out of the house, we want to be able to see the fire pit. So, as I'm walking out, and as I come through the front door, I can still see the fire pit area. And, you know, we still have enough room here for some grass in the front and some grass along the side. So, I think a little bit more towards the front in this situation is better. And I think a little bit more room in the back because we're going to also do some bocce ball and some horseshoes back there. So, I think we got our side to side and our front to back good. And let's go over uh, how I got over the how I got to the overall width of this fire pit. We're going to start with the sizing of the fire pit. Now I want to have a little bit of a longer fire pit here, not a round and not a square. So this one I'm going to be at like five feet by about 24 inches. So we have a nice square. So the next thing you got to determine is is how much room do you need from your fire pit to your chair. You know, you don't want to be falling up the back of the edge, so and you want to be able to put your feet up, kick back, relax, right? So, you want to start with your fire pit and then go out from there. How much room do I need? Well, let's see, I've got, uh, got about 60 there, and I've got about 60 there. So I've got about the same amount of room all the way around. So what I decided was on a 12 by 15 pad. So this pad is also going to be rectangular, just like the fire pit. So it kind of has that same design feature. So I think we're good with the sizing of the fire pit. We're good with the sizing of the concrete. Um, I think we got to get to digging because we got to get this down. The elevation's a little bit high. So we're going to dig for some for some elevation drop. And we're also going to dig because we got to get a gas line in here. So uh, I'm going to get to work. All right, so we're getting this dug up. Uh, we already got quite a bit dug up around the edges. So we want to get our elevation of our concrete pad. So once we get that set, then we'll go ahead and dig the dirt out in the center of the structure. Um, a couple things that we're doing here is, you can see we have a trench here for our gas line. This is pretty much the location of where the fire pit's gonna be. And the gas line's gonna go all the way back over here. And it's gonna connect into gas where we have it coming over to the pool. So we're going to come through here, we're going to come through the wall, we're going to come down and then we're going to run our gas line over. So um, we're getting close uh, to getting this ready to pour. So let's go ahead and walk over. I'm going to kind of go over with you how I came up with the barbecue area and what we're trying to accomplish with this space over here. So the first thing we're gonna look at is, I wanna to try to get this edge of the concrete kind of in line with that 
side of the concrete on that side. So if we go to the wall, it should be about 93. Yep, we're about 93. And from that side, we're about 93. So you want to try to always keep things as symmetrical as possible. Let's go over here and take a look, and I'll show you how we came out with the right sizing for this uh, barbecue area. So first I start with, what is my design going to be for my barbecue area? So what I came up with, this is going to demonstrate the barbecue. So I'm going to have a barbecue here. I'm going to have a countertop here. And it's going to be a little bit lower than this section. This section is actually going to raise up to bar height. And this bar is going to come all the way around over here like this. So as I'm cooking, I could be sitting in the chair, ugh, watching my meat, checking my text messages, getting drinks, things like that. Now, once I determine the design and the layout of my barbecue, I'm gonna wanna have enough room on the other side for people to sit on this side. So you can see I can sit pretty comfortably on this side. I'm gonna have the face of the barbecue area here and I'm gonna have about a 10 inch overhang. So, this works pretty well. And if you look at my measurements, I have about 53 inches there. This side's a little bit tighter. I have about 48 inches there, which is okay. And this is gonna be really nice, because as this grows out a little bit, we'll get, get some shade here in the summer, so this is really gonna help. So this is kinda of how you start out. You start out by figuring out what do you want the design of your fire pit area and then you can figure out how big you need your concrete pad to be. So let's take a look and see what size concrete pad we're going to pour here. It's going to be, so it's going to be about 16 feet that way. And we're going to have about 13 and a half feet that way. So we have about a 13 feet, 13 by six concrete pad which is great, gives us plenty of space. Um, next thing we gotta do on this side also is we gotta get this top portion of the two by four down to the level of the grass so that as you walk, you're not having to step up onto the pad. So as we did on the other one, we're gonna take the dirt out of here, drop this down, and then we're ready to pour some concrete. So we got the trench dug over here. We're about ready for some concrete now. We got the forms in. We got it all graded. Uh, we got our electrical line ran, so that's good. Um, let's go over here and take a look on this side, and we'll see what we got over here. Don't fall in the pool. So on this side, we got this ready to form. We got the uh, the pumper uh, has his line out, so he can run that from the truck and. Um, yeah, we're looking good. So the truck should be here in about 10 minutes and we'll be good to go. All right, so I'm pretty excited. The concrete went in and everything went pretty good. Um, the finishers just left. They have a nice broom finish on it. And we have uh, some control joints. You always wanna make sure you have that so you don't crack in the future. A uh, Couple days, we'll be taking the forms out on the concrete and um, get everything cleaned up around it. Kind of get the soil nice and level to it and start laying down our grass. So this one's gonna be for the uh, barbecue area. And let's take a walk over to the uh, fire pit. So here on the fire pit area, it's a little bit smaller, but we don't need it as big because we're gonna have the fire pit in the center. We have our gas line that's already ran, so that's good. Um, all in all, I think it turned out really good. The finishers did a good job. That's gonna do it for this portion of the video. We got through the concrete, pretty exciting. On the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to install the brick that goes on top of this. So I'm really looking forward to that video. So stay tuned, don't forget to click that bell. 
like our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.